terrorist. What we're seeing on our border is nothing short of a war being waged by these narco-terrorists, Perry told the audience. They represent a clear and present danger. In response, he spearheaded a rapid deployment of state law enforcement. See, that's Obama pulled them off, so Perry at least has them run through databases and then has to release them if they're not criminals. The problem is the feds then just release them. But for that, they want him dead. Oh, man, the federal government is just sick. I mean, not the actual Border Patrol agents. They're as horrified as we are. They say, quote, we're completing the smuggling process. In response, he spearheaded a rapid deployment of state law enforcement agencies across the border, which filled the gaps left by Border Patrol after the White House ordered the agency to stand down from enforcing immigration and trafficking laws. And then it goes into how they're heavily outnumbered and they're getting shot and everything. So there you go. That's the country we live in, ladies and gentlemen. Breaking at Infowars.com. Let's just go through this stack right now. 21 pages of Obamacare tax instructions. IRS demands shared responsibility for payment and says it's in their prerogative, of course, whether they're going to start garnishing wages, grabbing bank accounts, or holding back tax returns. <laughs> of course, they promised you that wouldn't happen. This is a government under Obama that ships guns to the Mexican drug cartels. You think they're going to gang rape you? Oh, yeah. Is Treasure Island about pirates? Momentum builds in Congress for raising the federal gas tax to the Hill. Oh, since the prices are down, how about a federal gas tax increase? And how about new carbon taxes? That's being pushed everywhere. Told you that was coming. Because it's the season of raping everyone. It's the time of the season to get raped. Because you like to lay down. Yay, yay, yay. A nation of sheep will be ruled by what? Wolves. Oh, woofies. I thought groveling got me ahead in life. No, there's a reason lions eat gazelles and tigers eat little, little deer. Because they don't have big teeth and fight back. And if humans ever started rolling over and showing their bellies or running from lions or tigers, they'd start eating us. What do you think a lion does in Africa when... Even two or three humans walk over a hill. It hauls butt. And it did that before there were even guns on the continent recorded 500 years ago. Because humans, when motivated, are more deadly than a lion or a tiger. But nowadays, lions and tigers do eat people because Africans have been domesticated just like we have here in America. Wolves now come up and grab people off their front porches because we are now prey animals trained by the upper class to be their food well i'm not your food and i still got my guns and i know who the enemy is scum you haven't chopped my huevos off yet <sighs> it's kind of poignant i said that and they got a hell of a paper cut <laughs> bad omen Experts warn of governments to plan for climate change of migrants. We have to open the borders up. The third world's collapsing because of climate change, Reuters reports, not because the IMF and World Bank, arms of the Federal Reserve, are raping them, signing them onto debts that aren't theirs. See how we decipher the news? Hillary Furish over Bill's part in latest sex scandal. Oh, with the pedophile? Hmm? Sure, Gloria Stein will probably come out and defend that when she defended him with all the rape allegations that he settled. And I don't mean some chick's drunk and claims she got raped. I mean, I'm talking brutalizing women. That's what's liberal, though. It makes it okay if you're liberal. They're now hyping a new cyber Pearl Harbor. You know, it'll be launched with the globalists where they'll open the door to outside attacks, burn a few patsies. Obama proposed... Two free years of community college for students, but they got to sign on and agree to more, which just means the debt. So now they got to use money to induce people to go get degrees that'll be worth less than toilet paper. Because at least you can wipe your hiney with toilet paper. You can line a birdcage, you know, with uh, newspapers. They've got some use. If you got a cockatoo or a African gray or maybe a, maybe a macaw or something, I don't know, Tweety Birds, I don't know, canaries, I don't know. Obama doesn't have any canaries. He just has hordes of flies always landing on him. <laughs> Continuing, Obama's free community college plan could cost $34 billion a year. Yeah, 
Well, you got to schmuck in all the kids. Senator Barbara Boxer is retiring, and the really horrible news, Feinstein flattered that Michelle Obama might be considering a run for her Senate seat. Yeah, it doesn't matter that Michelle's never lived in California. None of that matters. The Californians will vote for her in a minute. They love being told what to do. It makes them feel good. They got a fetish to be slaves, a fetish to be run over. They want to wear chains around their necks. The CDC just announced flu vaccines may have the wrong strain of flu virus. You did we break a record? Temps in Baton Rouge, New Orleans, Lafayette plunged to historic lows. There's been snow the last three weeks in Hawaii. They hadn't reported that in over 200 years. That's just some of the news on that front. Record-breaking cold, so bad even penguins have been forced inside. Uh, cold worldwide, record-breaking weather. Mobile hit 17 degrees, beating 1886 temperature of 18 degrees. Thursday's flurries set Florida record. Ocean effect snow creates buzz from Jacksonville through coastal Georgia. Jingle bells in Florida. <laughs> Kevin's over here laughing at this stuff. The answer, Kevin, is pay Al Gore money. He said, he said that the, the, the Arctic would be completely gone by, by, by 2013. No one calls him on it. He, and he owns a company that California now at the pump, I want to ask you about this, you pay money to Al Gore. That fat bastard's making billions. And, and, and I mean, we're going to go to you in a minute. You're not allowed to comment on Al Gore, your Lord and Savior. We're just going to hold that for a minute. So there you go. Uh, time to move to Mars, the Daily Mail reports. Temperatures on the red planet were warmer on Thursday than 14 states from Washington to Maine. And, of course, when I had Lord Rothschild's son on a few years ago, uh, I said, I said, why are the ice caps getting bigger on Mars? Because th there was some cooling then in the, in the uh, solar system. And he said, because it's closer to the sun than the Earth. And I said, no, it's not. It's Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars. And he said, no, it's not. It's Mercury. We played it last week. We re-aired it. It's Mercury, Venus, Mars, Earth. And he just said, it is, and laughed, because he knows full well that's not true. But the fun is lying to everyone, saying raising the debt limit doesn't raise the debt limit. Or you can keep your doctor under Obamacare. Or there are no death panels, even though there are, in the bill. It's all part of pimping everyone. Government creates ISIS, turns them loose. Now they're murdering people in Paris, getting training. And their answer is, give us more power. And I'm the conspiracy theorist. Two plus two equals five. Let's continue here. New York City. Health officials warn of increase in Bronx cases uh, of severe, potentially deadly forms of pneumonia. They're calling it, well, killer. That's what it is. Legionnaire's disease. New York Times, of course, isn't too worried about that. Harsh respiratory virus slamming Colorado. Kids are on respirators by the hundreds across the United States, but there's no concern about that. We've got to run around like chickens with our heads cut off saying, take the flu vaccine. Oh, they, they said again this year, oh, sorry, we didn't guess the right mutation. It's worthless. But still, I had somebody at the gym yesterday go, man, there's a lot of flu going around. You better take the flu shot knowing who I was. And I didn't even get off the elliptical to argue with the jackass that walked over to me. I just said, uh-huh, yes. And I thought, man, three flu shots, major studies, doubles your chances of Alzheimer's. That person looks like they're about 50. They'll be on a walker in a few years and then dead by 60, which is just about retirement time. That's the actuary plan. I was like, okay, let's go ahead and die. Fine, you're powerful. Go kill yourself. That's fine, you're powerful. I mean, you know, I just come to realization, you want to die? You want to be a, a schmuck? You want to be a moron? You want to be a sucker? You want to be an idiot? Good, kill yourselves. Just get out of my way. Don't sit there and tell me to take your flu shot, scumbag. All right. We're going to stop right there. I'm going to reset for just a minute. And I'm going to give you this headline right here. Bow Wow Smart Collar for Dogs Beams Video to Owner's Phones. That's out of UPI. And another article here, it's on Infowars.com. A wireless thing that hooks to your uh, iPhone or Droid so you can surveil your baby with a camera or microphone or digital readout of, uh, of its history, its temperature, but the problem is it, it's a digital system that's microwaving, and that's up on Infowars.com.
It's all part of the smart grid, totally jacked into the NSA that we told you about 18 years ago. That's now mainstream news. So I'll apologize for being right about that as well. And they've now admitted that the CIA went after Gary Webb, like we told you. And so we're, we're apologizing.